Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Jersey. Today at the barn shop, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to break down the headstock on the Sheldon lathe here. And the reason I'm doing this is because the belts that are on it right now, I cannot get to engage with the drive gear, so I bought some longer ones. These are 5L profile belts. These are 5L 500, uh, 50, um, 50 inch circumferential diameter and they're not nearly long enough so i got ones that are six inches longer anyhow we'll get started here from uh, taking off the chuck drive pulley here is freewheeling in relation to the main spindle um, to get the chuck off what we want to do is to lock this up so what we do is we make sure that the bull gear here is in its is locked into the drive pulley do this with this little pin there so that's that and then we're just going to lock the back gear into position there. So now this has two ratios and will not turn. We then just take a um, crescent wrench here, pick up one of the things on the chuck, give it a little tappa tappa, and it just turns right off. <clears throat> This is pretty heavy so be careful with it don't want to crush your hand or uh, even worse mess up the waves okay all right so now normally what I'd have to do is um, <clears throat> take a punch here and just move that off but as you can see it's okay now all right and the idea here is going to be to uh, push the spindle nose towards the tailstock and start with just a little rubber mallet here and just okay it's moving now normally this gear is heat fitted on there and the last time I did this I broke this gear um, getting it off so be patient with it uh, keep tapping the back of it don't try to don't try to pry or push this gear out. It's a delicate part. So you have to just kind of keep pushing it this way. And for that, all right, I've got a little brass thing here. It should be about the right size to push the rest of this through. This would be a lot harder if this gear was um, not broken. So expect a fight. This is much easier than it should be. So you got some flat bearings here. And that's just holding on. Okay, so maybe, yep, we're in a little bit of luck here. This is going to be nice and just pull through, maybe. Okay. So you got another set of flat bearings here. Spindle just drops free like that. And you notice you have a keyway here for the bull gear and another one for this other gear here, but um, I don't think it's strictly necessary. I think when it's heat fit on there, this key wasn't there when I got it. Um, so I think that was just holding on there just through friction. All right. So then if we All right, so that's that out of there. 
and just lift the bull gear out. If you're interested in the best way to get this thing out of here, I'll tell you about it, but I won't show you because it's a bit of a pain. Uh, what you want to do is uh, get you one of these pickle forks for taking off ball joints and just pu push it down into there. Take this set screw out, leave these two in place and get this lever off. You're then going to want to undo this set screw and pound the uh, center thing out this way um, and that'll let the uh, the back gear lift out. Uh, there's two bushings here that are held into place and those need to be in just the right spot. When you put it back together you have to get your pulley gear and your bull gear to mesh into this in the right spot before you can put this lever back on because the way this works is it's on an eccentric and there's holes that index this to its spot where it's engaged with the bull gear and back gear and disengaged. So you have to get that just right. It's a fettling process. And once you get that in the right spot, you got to hold it in place and then pound this back on and put this set screw on. Okay, so that's the take apart process. And continuing under the uh, lathe here, I've got this nut run all the way down and moved the belt selection handle into the down position. That gives you better access to this right here. Yet another thing I learned the wrong way. But that's how we learn is one mistake at a time. So all we got to do is just push this shaft out through a little hole in the side here. And yeah, glad you missed that. Um, okay, this belt comes out that way and we retrieve our drive pulley. Okay so we've got our belts on our pulley here and our uh, intermediate pulley assembly in place here. You can just barely see the little key in the back there. Maybe, maybe. And there's one more key that holds on that pulley there. Had to file that down a little bit but it fit in. So I'll just run this all the way back up and we'll put the headstock on and I'll put you back in a proper tripod so that you can you know deal with that motion sickness you got going right now okay we've got our belts up and through here the motor is as up as it's going to get so we've got what looks like plenty of play to get this through I, I'm, I'm feeling optimistic about this all right that's where things get tricky Maybe I can do this in one go. Yeah. There we are. Okay, so the belts are not even a little bit in the way. All right. Get our spindle nose going through here. Main spindle. Uh, just got to be patient with it and get it jiggered in the right spot and I lost a decent bit of fingernail doing the first this the first time a lot of steps and and uh, I guess sort of things forth there okay so we got this and through here we got to put these flat bearings through here Alright, so now I think we're up against this is running into any number of things. What are you caught on? that so it's as one piece as possible. There that goes.
working on it. It's working on it. No idea. Okay, so now when we've got just this little bit of nose sticking out here, you really don't have a lot of space between the uh, reversing lever, reversing level gear, lever gears here, and this here, so you want to ease in your flat bearing piece at a time. Might be a smart move to take that lever out, um, but I'm kind of into it already. Okay. So now we're nearly there. There's probably one step just waiting on here. Oh, uh, yeah, so the part we're at now is I can just barely see the key. It holds the bowl gear in here, and I just need to turn that until it finds home. Where is that? I have no idea where that is. Maybe. There it is, okay. And there we have it. Okay. Now we put the end cap back on. Now we're going to lock the back gear back into place so that we can get this on good and tight. And of course there is such a thing as too tight because you do want this to turn. So just once there's no play left in it, make sure that it does indeed turn. That's good, and we'll tighten these belts up. Very, very important step I missed here. There are set screws in this dealer right here, and also back here. And these, uh, these set screws have little brass bits in them. Don't lose those. Um, you can see where they actually have threading in there. That's because they bear down on threads in here. Okay, so that's got it. Um, this is ran almost all the way down and there's still some play in these belts. So you probably want to go with a 5L540. So it's, uh, that's reverse. It works. And forward works, of course. 
And if I can reach down here and change wheel in a different spot. Tighten that back up. We get a faster forward speed. And if I ouch, disengage the bull gear and put the back gear, put the back gear in, we get low speed. Just put new grease on there so it's still flinging some of that around. So we'll just um, put our cover back on and we'll be done. Oh, you know what, I'll put the, uh, put the chuck back on here. So if you're wanting to know about um, this spindle nose, it is two and a quarter and those are eight threads per inch. Lean in real close to your computator there, you'll see 1.25 from major to major there okay so it's an odd um, it's an odd spindle threading I do not see a lot of it you see a lot more of the south bend uh, two and a half eight threads per inch but I think you get a larger collet size with this uh, with this threading and just reverse of the um, of the takeoff process Get the back gear to engage here. So once the back gear's on, take your crescent wrench. Get with the beans. Okay, so that's it. That's how you uh, replace the belts on this here lathe. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something, and I'll try better next time. Oh, and I'm lying about that proper tripod thing. It's just a uh, piece of PVC pipe um, in a board.